Hey guys, Tristan here, and today I have Alpha's level 19 upgrade. This time around, I am going to be doing the Traxxas Steel 20 Tooth Idler gear. This part originates from the Slayer, but also fits on the Nitro Stampede. The reason why I'm switching them out is because I have blown the Idler gear in Alpha's transmission, so I can't run them until I get this part installed. Before I go ahead and start dropping the transmission, I'm going to disconnect the brake linkage. That's easily done by unscrewing the single grub screw, then sliding the collar off, as well as the silicone tube and the single washer on the line. And that's all that's to it to disconnecting the brake. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the six screws that hold the skid plate to the RC. With the six screws removed, we should now be able to easily get to the transmission box underneath and it should just slide right on out. Push the RC back and now we can go ahead and remove the two grub screws that hold each drive shaft in place as well as I'm going to loosen this nut right here. Now that I have that nut off I can take off the compressible spring, the spur gear and slipper clutch assembly which will be a little bit tight but you just gotta wiggle it off right there. There's gonna be a couple spacers. If I can get them off. There we go. And we can go around and unscrew the several screws that hold the transmission case together along with the braking assembly. There's gonna be two screws right here, and then four screws on the other side. With all the screws removed, the brake assembly should come right on off along with the disc and the little adapter. Now we can go ahead and split the transmission case apart. There we go. How do you want to come apart? All right, just like that. And as you guys can see right there, this is why we are replacing it. All right, guys, I cleaned up all the gears a little bit. This one I didn't really spend too much time on. But as you guys can see, it has taken quite a beating in the last 19 years that this gear has been in the RC. And these bearings on it have pretty much bonded with the metal shaft that goes through this plastic gear. So this is all garbage. I'm going to try and get these off later, but I was spending too much time trying to get these gut gears off. And I can easily just put new ones on. So here is the old one. And here is the new one. As you guys can see, they are pretty much the exact same size, even though this gear is technically not meant for the Nitro Stampede. It's only meant for the Slayer, but it fits inside. So, it's going to be an easy, quick replacement. But yeah, it threads perfectly fine, so it should be an exact fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the new bearings and Teflon washers on. Slide that right there followed by the bearing, pop that into place, and put the other one on the other side, just like that, followed by another bearing, bring the case over and slide it right into place, pops right on in. Now I'm going to take the drive shaft, put the Teflon washers on each end, just like that. Slide that into this slot right here. Come on. You know you want to. There we go. Just like that. And then finally, our big gear, the diff gear. Thread that right on there. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Now the only issue is, since they do not sell a metal replacement part for this gear right here, this is the only fault point in the RC for the driveline as of now. So I'm going to have to be really careful or else I'm going to blow my diff gear, at least until I get a better one. So now I'm going to take my white lithium grease and I want to spread it all up into the gears, get a nice coating. Uh, there's air in the tube. 
Get a nice good coating on there. And when you feel like it's ready, you can take the other half, slide it over, and screw in the four screws in the back. Alright guys, with the four screws in place, the gearbox is back together. Now, I did have to go back and remove the two Teflon washers that I put in between the idler gear and the bearings. That's mainly because it made it the offset of the gear just too much for the case and it was splitting the case. So as long as you don't put those two Teflon washers in, you will be fine. Now we can put the brake system back together. Gonna slide the adapter into place, just like that. Followed by the brake disc. And while holding on to that, I'm going to slide the rest of the brake mechanism into place. Now I'm just going to screw in the two screws that hold it into place. Now that we have the brakes in place, I'm going to now slide on the slipper assembly. Starting with two Teflon washers to bridge the gap, followed by the back plate, which slides right into place just like that a small bearing then the spur gear itself goes right on there followed by the front plate come on come on there we go and then the collapsible spring and the nut. Now I'm going to screw the nut down all the way and bring it out two turns and while I do that I'm going to hold the brake so it doesn't spin. Now we can go ahead and slide on the two halves of the drive shafts on both output shafts just like that. And go ahead and screw down the two grub screws that hold them on. With the transmission fully assembled, we can now just slide it into position. Starting with connecting the drive shafts together. One down there. One up here. Can be a little tricky sometimes, but... There we go. Then, just a matter of sliding the transmission into place, just like that. Now we can go ahead, set the skid plate on down, bring the rear bumper into place, and then screw down the six screws that hold it in place. And now the final thing to do is to reattach the brakes. Just gotta slide the link through the hole, slide on a washer, followed by the silicon tube, and then the little metal collar. The collar is going to be held into place by screwing down this one grub screw. And with that, Alpha is up and running again. Now this upgrade can be put on not only the Nitro Stampede, but the Nitro Rustler and Sport, since they all share the same transmission. The case might be the same, but the insides are all the same. So if you ever blow your idler gear, just throw in a Slayer one. Easy as that, and it doesn't take that long at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.